In the world we live in today, social media is becoming more and more popular and being used by almost everyone. This offers an amazing opportunity for many people. So many businesses and people understand they need to be making video content but have no idea where to start. That's where you come in as a video editor. This video is meant to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a freelance music video editor in 2023. In 2017, at 15 years old, I started my journey as a video editor. Just like any other kid, I wanted to become a YouTuber. I would create what I called at the time cinematic videos of my friends and I doing random things in the summer. Later that year, I got my first client on Fiverr for a whopping $5. At the time when I posted the gig, I had no idea what kind of videos I wanted to edit. The first client that I got wanted me to edit a music video. Little did I know this video would get me into the music industry and start my career. I began to continue working on music videos on Fiverr and building a portfolio up on Instagram. This eventually led me to getting paid anywhere from $200 to $500 editing music videos. Fast forward now to age 21 and I've been able to charge thousands of dollars for music videos. I've been blessed to work with big time clients like Warner Records, Wiz Khalifa, Famous Dex, G Herbo, and many more. I've worked on 100 plus music videos racking up millions of views on YouTube. Over that time, I've learned a lot about the music video industry. Not only do you have to have editing skills to have success, but you also have to have a firm foundation of business skills as well. So where to start? The first thing you're gonna need is equipment. A lot of people think you have to have top of the line editing gear, but that's simply not true. All you have to have is have access to a computer or a phone. I started out using a $50 Dell desktop computer that wasn't very good, but got the job done. With technology advancing, there's really no excuse to delay your editing career. As you get more and more clients, I definitely recommend upgrading your equipment, but to start out, you really don't need much. Personally, I prefer desktop computers over laptops. Definitely do the research on the specs you need for your computer to accomplish the editing effects that you'd like to complete. To give you an idea, I'll show you my specs for my computer. For my computer, I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card, an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8-core processor, and 32 gigabytes of installed RAM. I got my computer built just because I'm not very knowledgeable on computers, but you could also build one if you're knowledgeable and have the time to do that. Now that you got your equipment settled, it's now time to find an editing software to use. I'll first start out with some free options you could use. So the first two softwares that I would recommend is iMovie and DaVinci Resolve free. I started out with iMovie and it's a great software for free. I also use DaVinci Resolve. I have the paid version, but there's also a free version that works really well. As far as editing on an iPhone, I'm not too experienced with all of that, but I do know there's some free editing softwares like CapCut and iMovie is also available on the phone. Those are both free softwares as well. Now we'll get into more of the advanced paid softwares. So the software that I use is the Adobe Creative Cloud and more specifically Premiere Pro. This can definitely get a little pricey. It comes out to $55 a month for the normal subscription, but a little secret you could use a student discount so basically what you have to do is just sign up with the student discount you can have a student email you will basically get the whole creative cloud suite for twenty dollars a month like i said before i do have davinci resolve the suite it comes out to 295 dollars i specifically use this for color grading it's a great software it's a one-time payment and is a good option for a lot of people I also know a lot of people use Final Cut. This is more for Mac users. I do not have a Mac, so this isn't something I've gotten too in depth with, but it is always an option. And I believe this comes out to $300 and it is a one-time payment as well. Now that we have all the equipment and software in place, it's now time to learn editing. The best way to learn editing is by practicing. So what I'd first do is go to YouTube and then look up lots of editing tutorials and just soak in as much information about editing as you can. Once you've looked up a few YouTube tutorials and learned a few effects, what I would do is start practicing now. So you could start practicing on any kind of footage you have, or you could also use other people's footage. So what I started out doing when I was beginning is what I would do is go to YouTube and go to multiple different music videos that I liked and I would download these music videos and add effects to it. 
I would simply do this by searching on the internet, YouTube to MP4 converter, and I would just convert the YouTube video to a MP4 file and then start adding effects to it. There's two reasons why I recommend this. One, because as you practice more and more, you'll get better at editing. And then also with these edits, you could post these to your Instagram and start building up a portfolio. This is awesome because you could show them music video effect examples on your Instagram and clients can get an idea of what your work looks like. Here are a few YouTubers that I'd recommend looking up for tutorial videos. Justin Odisho is a great one, Brian Del Mata, Tiny Tapes, Max Novak, Venter Visuals. I'll put all of their links in the description. They have great effects for music videos specifically. Now that you've learned editing and you're ready to take on your first client. Now comes the problem of how do you get your client? And that comes to outreach. There's two ways to get your first client. One is through cold outreach. And the second is by posting gigs on service platforms. Cold outreach is basically messaging people right off the bat. While doing this, there's two people I would recommend going after when you're doing cold outreach. So the first person I would target would be smaller artists. You can do this by finding artists page on Instagram and direct messaging them, or you could look up hashtags and find artists who post on those and then direct message them as well. Starting out, I would look up hashtags like SoundCloud rappers, and I would just go to some of their pages and then cold DM them. Another way that I found has lots more success would be contacting different directors. This is great because they're the ones mostly handling the footage, they're the one filming, and they ultimately have the say on who edits the footage. Most of the time directors are filming lots of videos and sometimes they don't have enough time to put in thoughtful edits and so this is a great way to get editing gigs. Especially starting out, this is a great way to build connections because the directors have already established all these connections with all of these artists and they've spent years building these connections. By you coming in and contacting the director, you get access to all of their connections. So for example, say you wanted to work with Lil Uzi. Instead of hitting up Lil Uzi as a direct message, he's probably never gonna respond or even see that message. Rather than hitting him up, you could hit up the director who does lots of his work and you have way more high chance of getting in contact and working on a piece of work for Lil Uzi. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to do this starting out, especially a big name like Lil Uzi. You get the point of contacting directors and using their connections. So when you reach out to either an artist or director, you have to offer value. And there's two ways that I found you could offer value. So for the first one, obviously, if your service is very good and valuable. With my service, I was able to offer mixed media and it was unique and a lot of people weren't really doing it. This gave me slightly an edge against other editors. Another way you could offer value is by price cutting. So basically, you could offer a lower price to work with them. You got to be careful with this. You don't want to undervalue yourself. But starting out, you can definitely go with a lower price. You also saw I got my first video for $5. They're not risking much money. And so there's a lot of value there. So the second way to get clients, like I said, is through service based platforms. And that is through Fiverr or Upwork. I started out on Fiverr. The advantage of this is you don't have to do all the work going out and messaging all these people. They come to you, but there is a downside that this could take a while. And then also Fiverr and Upwork take commission off of your service. So I'd eventually try and get off of this platform, but it's a great way to get your foot in the door. So now that you've gotten a few clients using some of those methods, it's now time to structure your business. So structuring your business is super important and this is how you're gonna scale from just getting a few clients to getting way more clients and charging a lot more for your service. The first thing I'm gonna talk about with structuring your business is pricing. The first thing I would recommend is creating differently packaged pricing. I'd recommend three packages, a basic, a moderate, and then a high-end package. So I would package these based on the amount of work you deliver to them. So the basic package, you would obviously have minimal work. The moderate, you would have moderate work. And then the high-end, you would be basically packaging everything you could offer for them. The thing I like about this is it prevents you from being underpaid for your time and also sets the expectations to the artists of what they're gonna be getting for your service. The 
The next thing you have to do is create your offer. This is what will differentiate your service from other people's. A good offer eliminates the need to sell your service and negotiate budgets. In your offer, you can add a guarantee that will basically eliminate the risk for the client. For example, you could stay ahead of time. If you absolutely hate the video that we make for you, we will continue to work on the video till it's up to your standard. Or you could say something like, if you absolutely hate the video, then we will do your next video for free or half off. Doing this reassures the client that they will get the outcome they want by buying your service. It eliminates the risk of your service not providing their outcome. I know a guarantee can sound a little scary when you're saying I will do a whole nother video for you for free if they don't like it. But if your service is truly valuable, you shouldn't worry about any of that because you will deliver on your first go around. As far as offer creation, I'm not going to get too deep into it. But if you want to learn a little more about offer creation, I recommend going to Alex Hormozzi's YouTube page, and he's got a ton of stuff about offer creation that you could look at. The next thing you have to have in place is onboarding or just securing the client and getting that first deposit. An error I did and saw many people do as well was they would try and close the client on text or through direct message on Instagram or just through messages. I recommend never sending your prices through text or direct messages. Rather, if they ask, what are your prices? I would send them a message along these lines. To give you an accurate price for my service, I'd have to get a better idea of the vision you have for the video and what's all needed. This will allow you to arrange a sales call and you could pitch them your offer and also solve any problems that they have with your price and any questions they have with your service. That concludes the step-by-step -step guide to getting started into the music video editing space. This is a great way to make money and get your foot in the door to video editing. Now that I've given you the steps, don't delay, go do these things now and go make some money. Hope you guys found value from this video. Have a good one.